Good afternoon. Everybody got quiet, so I guess I should start now. Um, I'm Ruth Sesco, and I'm coordinator of the uh, Read Aloud programs this year. Welcome to our first one. Uh, we wanted to start off with something really exciting, so we have the director of uh, Ohio Anna here, Linda Hengst, and uh, we've been supported for this particular one by a number of our partner organizations, Ohio Historical Society, State Library of Ohio, uh, Civil War 150, um, well, not to mention Ohio Anna, <laughs> and I'm going to let Linda uh, introduce uh, these partners to you because she's really been the uh, contact person, the, the liaison between all of us uh, for me. It's been very helpful having Linda. She's a, just really helped coordinate all this and bring it and make it happen. And these books are so neat and exciting. I want to turn this right over to Linda okay. and let her introduce all our other guests. Thank you. How many of you are new to Ohio? Anybody? Okay. Well, welcome, fellow Ohioans. <laughs> um, thank you, Ruth. And it's really very special to be part of the kickoff program uh, here at Ohio State with the Read Aloud. And as Ruth mentioned, this is so exciting because it's bringing together really four different organizations to present this program. And that being the Ohio Historical Society and their uh, 150 uh, Civil War program and Molly Uline Olmstead is one of the coordinators of that program. And probably the most important partner of ours for this particular program is the State Library of Ohio and the Choose to Read Ohio program. And Janet Dreyer is here from the State Library and she's coordinating the program. We each, uh, I think this, the Historical Society has some Civil War information here. Yes, we have some brochures and books. And I know Janet has and Ohio Anna has. And I wanted to say just a bit about Ohio Anna. Uh, we were founded in 1929, so for over 80 years we have been collecting, promoting, and preserving the work of Ohio writers, musicians, and artists. Our collection includes 45,000 books, all written by Ohioans or about Ohio. Biographical files of more than 25,000 Ohioans. Um, that are writers, musicians, and artists, 10,000 pieces of sheet music, and much, much more. <coughs> we do an annual awards program, and there are invitations back here. Uh, the, there are two events, uh, one on Friday evening, October 15th, the other on Saturday um, afternoon, October 16th, and that's a luncheon at the, uh, in the atrium of the Statehouse. Um, look at the invitation. Um, you'll see some of the great award winners we have this year. Also, we published the Ohio Anna Quarterly, which we've been doing since 1958, and I brought some copies along. And if you want to read about this year's award winners that include Rita Dove this year, and she will be here, um, you'll see information about all the great people that are from Ohio. <clears throat> Um, Ohio Anna also um, opens the doors for our collection. You cannot borrow anything, but you're certainly welcome to use our resources for research. And then we, in the spring, we uh, hold the last annual Ohio Anna Book Festival, and we'll be doing our fifth one this year. Lisa Klein and Robert Olmsted are Ohio authors, and they will be reading today from uh, choose to read Ohio titles. Both books are fiction. They're both about young people. And they both relate to the Civil War. And I've already introduced Molly, who's here from the Historical Society, and mentioned that this is the 150th anniversary of the Civil War. Choose to Read Ohio is a program of the State Library, and its purpose is to spotlight Ohio authors and promote reading across Ohio. It was developed to encourage people of all ages to share literature and to read in groups, from families to book clubs to classes to 
informal gatherings. There are 20 titles that were selected for the 2010 and 2011 program. There are five titles in four different age groups, beginning with children's books from zero to eight years, um, books that parents or friends or grandparents might read to children up through adult titles. And I've already um, introduced Jan. So uh, just want to give a little plug in the corner. There's information about the program. And there's a review of Lisa's book, I think, in this issue of Quarterly, um, as well as the, the award winners. <clears throat> but Janet and folks at the State Library have developed uh, great toolkits. Is anybody in here in history or education? If people are, those toolkits are marvelous, and they're all available online. So with that, I'm going to say I want to introduce the authors and both will read for uh, about 10, 15 minutes, and then we will open uh, the program for discussion. And first to read will be Lisa Klein, and she will read from her book, Two Girls of Gettysburg, which is a teen title. Uh, Robert, when he reads, he'll be reading from his book, Cold Black Horse, which is an adult title. Lisa is the author of four historic fictions. Um, they're all for teens. Uh, Lisa was born in Peoria and has lived in Columbus since 1998. Prior to beginning her professional writing career, uh, she did a number of things. But she, for one, she was an assistant professor here at Ohio State University in the Department of English. And we're fortunate we did not get <laughs> so, with that, Lisa, please come up. Thank you. 